It's been more than three months since the coronavirus outbreak hit the U.S. And as Florida continues to reopen, an ER doctor from Wellington Regional is noticing another concerning trend. The overall population has been exposed to coronavirus is probably a lot higher than we expected. A pattern that Dr. Adam Bromberg calls concerning. We have large numbers of people that have antibodies to this disease that never really had significant symptoms and didn't know they had the disease. Dr. Bromberg is a medical director of Wellington Physicians Urgent Care and says more patients are asking about whether they've been exposed to the virus in the past. An antibody test can help answer that question. The antibody testing is just telling us whether or not you do have antibodies to the specific coronavirus that causes COVID-19. Not all of them are protective that are going to clean the virus out and get rid of it out of your system. The CDC says antibody tests also play an important role in pinpointing the groups at higher risk for infection. This blood test takes less than 90 seconds to perform. Not bad at all. That was easy. WPTV viewers have also been reaching out about the possibility of contracting the virus a second time. Potentially, yes. We don't know the answer for sure right now. And again, it depends on which antibodies you have. We do suspect that you will have some immunity towards the virus again in the future even if it is meaning that you just have a less severe of a reaction. Antibody tests are covered by most insurance companies. The Palm Beach County Health Department is also offering free antibody tests at its COVID-19 testing site at the 15 ballpark of the Palm Beaches in West Palm Beach. Reporting from Wellington, Lenny Supal, WPTV News Channel 5.